Hello, directions for databases, module A, homework three. And we're continuing with the same access database. So we have three tables, course department and students, and three forms for each. And now we're gonna select three queries or create three queries based on these. So for example, if I went into the student, um, I'm gonna go to the student table. And I just want student ID, last name and first name. I don't need the contact information or the initial date. So I want to create a list but not have all of the information. So I'm going to select students so it's selected under the table, choose create, select query wizard, and then from here it should be simple query wizard. Okay, the table I already selected, it's students. Now when we created the form, we used all of the field names. But this time, I'm just going to move one at a time. I want student ID, last name, and first name. If I accidentally put contact information over there, I could bring it back. So I just want those three and click Next. Again, I'll keep that name. That's fine. Students query. And then finish. And there are only two records, but I have just the ID, last name, and first name. So I'll close out of here. Notice it's under its own category, queries. So I'm going to click Department for the table, and again, Query Wizard, Simple Query Wizard, and OK. And here we are, department's already there. I want the department code, I want the department name, and I want the chair. So I'm skip, we're going to skip the location and the phone. And then go ahead and Next. There, the name is fine, and Finish. And there we have the department code, department name, and chair. So let's say, for example, there's only three here, but if you had hundreds and hundreds of records um, and you wanted to pull up just ACS, which is Applied Computer Science and Math, you just wanted those two um, records of information, leaving the English out. What you would do is click Home, click this up here, which is the Design View, or you could click the arrow and choose Design View, but it's a lot quicker, quicker just click the icon. And here under department court, um, code for criteria, I would type in ACS, which is Applied Computer Science, and Math. And it puts in the um, quotations for me. I don't have to worry about it. And then click Run. So it pulls out just the Applied Computer Science and just the Math. So the English is excluded from this list. So you can get that in Design View where you type in exactly what you're looking for. So let's exit out of here. It's going to save and yes. One more query and it's on the course. So select course, choose create, um, query wizard, simple query wizard. And from here you want um, courses, department code, course number, course name, and then credit hours. So leave description and graduation that yes or no and click Next. No, um, the details are fine. Next. Um, course Query is a good name and Finish. And here we have all nine of our records and just um, the four column headings that we asked for. We don't have the description or the graduation yes or no. Now in this one we want just to show the English. So there's three of them. So there's two ways to do it. One, we can go back home and choose that Design View and in the department code, remember, we're looking for English, and it was just E-N-G. And then click Run. So it shows just the three for English. So let me go back and take that out. So I'll just select it and delete it and run. I'll go back to all nine. Another way that you could get just the English is if you select one of them and choose Selection from the Sort and Filter button, and then choose Equals English and then it just gives you the English ones. Now if you want to save this separate from the other um, course query, what you would do is File, Save As, but this time Save Object. So you're saving just this one query, Save As, and the name of it will be, um, I'm going to type in English. And then OK. So if I go over here, I'll X out of here, the course query should be um, all nine, and the English course query should be only the English ones. So I'll X out of here, 
And that is a save and submit for assignment number three.